this time, we are going to add similar fractions to similar fractions and mixed numbers. Pag sinabi nating similar fractions, these are fractions with the same denominators. So we have 3 tenths, 1 tenths, 5 tenths. Okay, pansin natin na pare-pareho sila ng denominator. So these are similar fractions. So how are we going to add similar fractions? Example, 4 twelfth plus 2 twelfth. First step, just copy the common denominator. Do not add the den denominators, just copy the common denominator. And then, add the numerators. 4 plus 2 is 6. Next, reduce the fraction to its lowest term, if possible. In this case, Possible ba siya na may -re reduce yung 6 twelfth? Yes, you can reduce this. So, if you are not still familiar with reducing fractions, you may visit the link above. Tuturo niyan sa inyo yung iba't ibang methods and how to reduce fractions. So, 6 twelfth or 1 half. So, this is now the final answer. Let's have another example. How about 4 11th plus 2 11th plus 2 11th? Let's have another example. Plus, plus. Okay, just copy the common denominator, which is 11. And then add the numerators, 4 plus 2, 6 plus 2, 8. Can you reduce this to its lowest term? Not anymore. This is already in its simplified form, so the answer is 8 11. How about if this is the case, 6 7 plus 1 7? Okay, just copy the common denominator. 7, 6 plus 1 plus 1 is 8. So, notice that this is already an improper fraction. Mas mataas yung numerator kaysa sa denominator. So, if we change this one to its simplified form, we have to change it into its mixed form. Pag sa high school, okay na to. Eh. Accepted na to. In the elementary, we are going to change this into its mixed form yet. So, if you want to know more about this lesson, you may visit the link above. So, that is now the final answer. 1 in 1 seventh. How about in addition of dissimilar fractions? Pag sinabi natin dissimilar fractions, these are fractions with different denominators. For example, 3 ninths, 1 third, 1 fourth, 5 sixths. So, they have different denominators. So, these are the similar fractions. So, let's try this one. Two-thirds plus four-fifths. First step, find the LCD. LCD is the same as LCM. So, if you want to know more about that lesson, you may visit the link above, LCM. So, the least common denominator is 15. Next step, you divide denominators, then multiply to each of the numerators. 15 divided by 3 is 5 times 2 is 10. Plus 15 divided by 5, 3 times 4 is 12. Now, let's add the numerators. 22 plus 15 by each because that is already an improper fraction. We have to change it into its mixed form. How many 15s are there in 22? 1 and then 7. Can you still reduce this to its lowest term? Not anymore. So the answer is 1 and 7 15th. Another way, so perhaps your teacher is going to teach this way. 
change this into similar fractions. So same. Find the LCD of 4 and 6. So we have 12 and 12. Divide. 12 divided by 4, 3 times 1 is 3. 12 divided by 6, 2 times 2 is 4. And then add 3 plus 4 is 7. And then the common denominator is 12. Can you reduce this to its lowest term? Not anymore because it's already in its simplified form. So the answer is 7 twelfth. Or if you like to do the shortcut, it's the butterfly method. How is it done? Just multiply the denominators. 6 times 4, 24. And then multiply, cross multiply the denominator by the numerator. 4 times 2 is 8. Cross multiply the other one. 6 times 1 is 6. So we have 8 plus 6 is 14, 24. Can you reduce this to its lowest term? Yes. So we have 14 divided by 2 is 7. 24 divided by 2 is 12. Therefore, the answer is 7 twelfth. The butterfly method is okay. It's good as long as you are very familiar with reducing of fractions because this will come up with a bigger fraction. But it's very okay if you are dealing with smaller fractions, just like 1 8 and 1 half. So doing the butterfly method here, 8 times 2, 16. 2 times 1 is 2 plus 8 times 1 is 8, 10 sixteenths, or 5, 8. Okay? How about if you're going to add mixed numbers? Okay? Same step, find the LCD, 20. 20 divided by 4. 5 times 1, 5. Do not mind yet the whole numbers. Plus, 20 divided by 5 is 4 times 1 is 4. 9, 20. How about the whole numbers? Let's just add 3 plus 1 is 4. And then 9, 20. So the answer now is 4 and 9, 20. We can no longer reduce 920 to its lowest term, so that is the final answer. That's it for today. Watch out for more maths and English lessons. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell button for more updates. Thank you and God bless.